In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody who's watching us online. Let us call to mind our sins, seeking the Lord's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. You may be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephra of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented them at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord, as you live, my lord, I am the woman who spoke, stood near you, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strain. While the well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He rises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap he lifts up the poor. To seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. In the last days of World War II, American and British soldiers were languishing in a German POW camp. Their only contact between the two groups took place at noon when the British and American chaplains were allowed to meet at the fence and exchange greetings, always in the company of the guards. The Americans had somehow managed to assemble a crude wireless radio and were able to hear news from the outside world. Since nothing is more important to prisoners than news, the American chaplain would carefully try to convey a headline or two with his British counterpart in the few moments that they had each week. One day the news came over the little radio that the German high command had surrendered and that the war was over. None of the Germans at the camp knew this since their communication system would, was broken. The American chaplain took the news to the fence and then lingered to hear the thunderous roar of the celebration in the British barracks. And then something amazing happened. For the next three days, the prisoners celebrated, waving at the German guards who still did not know the news, and smiling at their vicious dogs. And then when they awoke on the fourth day, the guards were nowhere to be seen. They had fled into the surrounding forest, leaving the gate unlocked. That morning, the prisoners walked out as free men but they had really been free four days earlier by the news that the war was over. As the British chaplain later said in relating the story, that is the power of the gospel. It is news, not advice. In our gospel today, Mary is transformed by the news she heard from the angel Gabriel that is now confirmed in her meeting with her cousin Elizabeth. God's promise of the Messiah fills Mary and the people of the first advent with hope, hope that enables Mary and Elizabeth to cope with their struggles of their difficult lives and a very uncertain future with the births of their children. Mary's beautiful canticle is a song of liberation and freedom in praise of the God whose faithfulness and mercy no, no end. Mary's song should fill us who live in humankind's second advent with the same hope and sense of liberation as we continue to slog through life's disappointments, hurts, broken promises, especially during this pandemic. As Mary's Magnificat celebrates, God's promise of the Christ gives us, too, reason to hope in the midst of despair and sadness, to rejoice in the face of overwhelming cynicism.
Let us raise our voices in prayer as we respond. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Lord continue to guide her in carrying out his saving work this Advent season. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who govern, may the Holy Spirit bless them with the abundance of understanding and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are unemployed, alone, or without hope, especially in these darkest days of the year, let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially those that gave us the gift of faith, may they see the glory of our Heavenly Father and enjoy eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For Beth Novotny, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all of these prayers, especially those that are written on our Facebook uh, broadcast today, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Jesus Christ, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift 
that already we rejoice at the mystery of the nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when he was about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the bishops, priests, deacons, the religious, and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and language who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity, in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, for the Almighty has done great things for me.
Let's pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Just a brief announcement to make. Tomorrow is Wednesday, December 23rd. We will have morning Mass at 9 o'clock. Uh, however, on Thursday, Christmas Eve, we will not have morning Mass at 9 o'clock. So if you show up 9 o'clock on Thursday morning, I'm not going to be here. Uh, so I'll make that announcement tomorrow, okay? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Please be seated. Have a wonderful day.